It's another day that God has kept us. A beautiful day. So look up and live because your faith that you have is taking you to amazing places. Welcome to the channel, everybody. This is Nikki, and I'm so happy that I get to come back into your homes today to encourage, to motivate, and to inspire you along the journey that God has you on. Listen, family, you know you have people in life that don't want you to win. So to those people who didn't want you to win, they will have to watch you win. To the people, to every person that didn't want to lend you a helping hand to help you be successful, they will now have to watch you become successful. See, this is why whenever you go through things like this in your life, you have to understand why you're going through with it. And you must understand what this means. Not one person can stop your shine. Not one person can stop your glow up. Because if they could, don't you know they would have done that already? This is why God tells us in Romans 28 that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Not one. I don't care what it is. It's not going to prosper, people. It's going to be all for nothing. Anything and everything that people do. Because they've tried it. They've tried anything. They've tried everything to no prevail for them. They will watch you succeed. People will watch your life transform. I mean, literally from a caterpillar to a butterfly. And this is what God wanted. This is why you were in a mold and you could not produce what you wanted to produce in the lives of some people because they were not destiny blessing people. They were destiny blockers. These people were blessing blockers. We we're in an amazing month, the month of April. This is a very prophetic month. You're going to see things come to life. You're going to see God resuscitate some things in your life. You're going to see God, the Holy Spirit, just get over your situations and your circumstances. And God is going to breathe life over these things. Whatever is dead in your life is going to live again. Whatever was barren, Whatever parts of your life that were unfruitful and unproductive, God is going to cause these things to produce. He's going to cause things to live again. In the month of April, this is a new beginning for you. New beginnings come when you go through so many old cycles. You've gone through the cycles. And this is why you've gone through these cycles so you can get to this particular season of your life. Seasons change. The cycles in our life are always changing. But there are lessons that we are learning out of every cycle, out of every season. People are going to watch you win in this season of your life. These people are going to watch you glow up. These people are going to watch you transform. People will watch you evolve. People will watch you do things that you've told them you were going to do and they didn't believe you. Because they judged you where you were. See, this is what people made a mistake to do. They judged you for where you were because they didn't think you were going to get from point A to point B. No, you're going to get all the way to the finish line. And you're going to pass that baton on. And now a lot of people are going to want to get on your train and take a ride. They're going to want to ride your coattail. But you can't let the devil tempt you to bring these people aboard. Because God created you to be celebrated, not tolerated. A lot of people tolerated you, and that was not God's will. Why don't you affirm that, that I deserve to be celebrated? I will not allow anybody to tolerate me another day in my life. People try to tolerate your family whenever they want to hold you back. Whenever you don't know who you are, you don't accept that. But no more. No more. They will watch you in. And stay humble. Stay humble. When God began to elevate you, stay humble. When you see God begin to answer your prayers and put you on a positive, successful trajectory in your life, stay humble. Because God said in due season, he will exalt you. If you humble yourself, God will exalt you in due time. But if we exalt ourselves, God said he will abase us. He will bring us down to nothing, just like King Nebuchadnezzar. And a lot of people are going to have a King Nebuchadnezzar in your life because they wouldn't give God the glory for what he was doing in your life. You know, a lot of people will ignore you, family of God, to make you believe that you have no self-worth, that you have no self-value. 
You are more than enough. Don't you ever forget it. Don't even believe life when life tells you that you're not enough. You'll never be loved. That's not true. When life tells you that, you must know what that means. That means you're all of that. You're top tier. Your top pedigree. That's who you are, family. You are the apple of God's eye, and there's nothing that you've ever gone through within life that can change it. Have you gone through things in life that were unfair to you? Absolutely, we all have, but you're not who you've gone through with. You've not. You're not what you've gone through with. So don't labor yourself. Don't allow life to define you by the things that you've had to go through with. You will succeed. And people will watch you succeed. They will watch you win. People didn't want to join you because they thought it would hinder you from winning. People didn't want to lend you a helping hand. People didn't want to help you because they thought without them, you would not be anything. You always remember that, family. And whoever walks away, let them go. Whoever refuses to give you a helping hand, no matter if you feel that that person has it in their hand to give you some assistance. Don't be offended. Don't allow the spirit of offense to enter into your heart space because whatever goes through, whatever you go through within your life, whatever happens, you have to know that God has allowed that. And if God has allowed it, he's going to get the glory out of it. He may have to crush us before he blesses us, family. But this is where the oil comes from. This is where precious jewels are made. You were made in the fire. You were. All of those hard times that you've gone through with, every night you had to cry, it was for a purpose. All of the betrayal that you've gone through with family, every single thing, it was for just a season. But God had a reason behind it. He had purpose written all over it to every person who did not want you to win. They will now watch you win. To every person that didn't believe in you, they will regret not believing in you. To every person that did not support you, these people will regret not supporting you because they're going to see and they're going to recognize that you still did it, that you still made it. You belong to God. You are a kingdom's kid. You are a royal priesthood, a chosen generation. You are the elect. You are the remnant of God. Nothing can touch you. Nothing. Not one arrow that the enemy shoots. It will get to you. We send every negative arrow back to the sender. We send all negative prayers. We send all those negative incantations that people are praying against you, family. Every negative altar. Every evil altar. We speak the fire of the Holy Spirit to burn it down to the ground. You never have to worry if you're going to make it. It's just a matter of when. Listen, family. Don't ever think if you're going to make it, if you're going to come out. Because you're going to come out and you're going to make it. It's just a matter of when. And everything is on God's divine timing. And God's timing is perfect. Let God do what he needs to do. God is getting your, his, your affairs in order. Because God is going to prepare a table before you. In the presence of your enemies. That's right. Things take time that are great. You have greatness on the inside of you. And that seed of greatness has been incubating within you. It has been growing on the inside of you. And in due season, God is going to bring that forth. So to every person that didn't want you to win, they will now watch you win. To every person that thought you would never amount to anything, they will see you soar and go from level to level to level to level. But remember, you stay humble because when we stay humble, God will continually elevate us and always give the God glory because without him, we can do nothing. But with him, guess what? We can do all things through Christ who gives us the strength. This is Nikki and I love all of you. Thank you for what you do. We are praying for you. Thank you for loving us the way that you do. Thank you for jumping over to our Instagram page, Nikki G. McCray, and supporting our Instagram. Thank you all so much, family, for all that you do. Don't ever forget who you are. Don't ever forget who you belong to. Don't ever forget the power that God gave you. Use it. Open up your mouth and speak the word of God. 
God gave you power and your power is in your mouth. You speak life. You can choose death or life. God said he gave you that power to speak. So whatever you want, God just told you to speak it and you believe it when you speak it. Just keep saying it and believe it because it's going to happen. God bless you. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.